Have you that game from your point of view, or do you just move straight on to Geelong? I think there's always things we can, you know, learn from the way we play and, and the people that were out there as well. And you know, that wasn't an ideal result for us yesterday, but it was a good chance for you know a few players to work on a few things, and and we'll definitely take something out of it. Ross spoke about after the game the regulars were being rotated more in preparation. Was that obviously included you? Yeah, I definitely felt I was getting rotated a bit more heavily, but in saying that, it was still you know a pretty taxing game on the body. Did it do anything to the confidence of the group, or you're pretty? You got your mindset on week one of the finals. Yeah, not at all. You know, we're, the strength of this team has been the next focus, and you know we don't, haven't dwelled on the past at all. And Ross has been big on that since he's got here. You know, the, the past counts for nothing, and we'll be focusing on the next moment. And we've got a training session uh, on Tuesday, and then and Thursday, and then it'll be the game against Geelong, and, and we're really excited. and We can't wait. We kept an eye on the Brisbane Geelong game after the match. I was pretty busy doing my recovery. I think the coaches had a pretty keen eye on it. Yeah. Would have been a few nervous moments, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure, mate, but, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. How was Ross yesterday? He looked pretty relaxed in the box. Uh, he wasn't at half-time, I won't give you the tip, but, um, you know, we're out there and we're demanding excellence on everyone that's, that pulls on the jumper, and as I said before, that we'll definitely take a few things out of it and a few players will, will, will grow from that experience. Do you think they, they do take a lot out of it? I mean, uh, the, the younger blokes are a bit out of it at times. Yeah, every time you go out there, mate, you, you know, you're putting great effort in and you're trying to do your best. So, you know, we won't take that away from anyone that was out there and it was really a chance for them to get that taste and, and to know what's expected when they pull on the jumper. Um, Simmons Stadium, um, obviously you've been there recently. Are you confident you can play a much better brand this time around? We're really looking forward to it, you know, get, getting down there and hopefully a few of our fans can infiltrate the stadium, you know, if the capacity is big enough. and. Um, and we'll, we'll go down there with you know, our, our best team possible and, and deliver on great effort and executing our role and hopefully get the job done. There's been a bit of outside noise about the venue. Has, have the players discussed it at all? Or? No, we've got you know, a, great, a great CEO and, and great operating staff who handle that side of things. And you know, we're really excited to be playing for the chance to get into a prelim, pre preliminary final. So you know, we just can't wait to get down there and, and the group's really excited. Regardless of, of the uh, the venue, does it give you a bit of confidence the result you had against Geelong last year in the finals? Yeah, I guess so. You know, as I said before, you know the past counts for nothing, but we've definitely um, reviewed the game from this year and last year, and we'll you know take a few things out of it and, and tinker with our game plan accordingly. Does the trip to Geelong take anything extra out on the players? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, we've got, like, as I said before, we've got great operating staff who always put in the best measures possible, you know, with flights and, and accommodation and whatnot, and always give us our best chance for success. How do you rate the facilities at Geelong, in your experience? Oh, the facilities don't bother us, mate. We'll, we'll rock up and play anywhere, anytime. It's just a Clancy Pierce as well. How's, have you spoken to him today? Obviously, a calf injury is not great news heading into a final series. Yeah, he's pretty disappointed. You know, he's a very hungry player and, and wants to be a part of this team and, and where we're heading. And, he was obviously pretty disappointed, but he'll have scans later today to confirm exactly what's going on. Do you have much confidence he'll be able to return for the final series? As I said, mate, we'll have to check the uh, check the scans today. But he was pretty disappointed. But you know, he'll do everything in his power to make sure he can get up and and give himself his best chance. Matt, how's your body feeling? You've obviously played every game, and you were one of the unlucky ones, I guess. You didn't get a break yesterday. Oh, I don't view it as that at all. You know, it was a great experience for me to be out there with the younger players and, and something to you know, continually improve on, on my game. Um, body's fine, holding up, and couldn't be more excited about this week.